This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use OBS for recording your DJ setups. Uh, just a couple of things to note that I already downloaded on my iPad and my iPhone this iOS OBS um, recording app. So it allows me to open up OBS as you see here and add an iPhone camera. So that's going to be the first thing I do so you at least have a little bit more visual. So you'll see all these options here of adding things in this box over here. I don't really mess with the scenes. I go to the sources and go straight to that. So the first thing I want to do is add a camera. So in this case, I'm going to create a new iOS camera. I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to ask for a device. Normally, whatever just shows up there is the device. If um, You might want to refresh it, or you can hit reconnect to device, and it'll show up as you can see there. My camera's over there, and there's me. So then I just hit OK, and that's what's showing up over here. Um, the left side is the preview, the right side is the program. If you go to view, you can change that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it'll, it'll transition. So you click transition, and now whatever you see on this side doesn't show up on the stream. On the right side, it does show up on the screen. So there's one. So you can see that my deck is here, and my camera's over there. Um, it's a little laggy right now. It's just because it's not a straight-up webcam. It's connected through a USB port all the way through up to a music stand where my thing is. The next thing that you want to do is have record box open. So on my computer screen, as you can see, I can pull up record box and then boom, I already have it loaded with a couple songs and I have my DJ deck going. Um, so it's loaded. So I'm going to minimize it for, actually, I'm not going to minimize it, I apologize. You're going to open record box and you're going to open up OBS on top of it. So they're both on the screen. The next thing you're going to do is go to the sources, click plus, and then you're going to click window capture. At this point, create new if you want to rename it to record box so you can keep yourself a little organized. Then hit OK. And then you're going to search for record box in all of this. Normally, in the brackets is the name of the program, and then whatever it is in the right hand side is normally the same. Um, just click on record box and then hit OK. So now, here's the problem we can't see the video of me with this, and it's just layered. So you just need to click and drag and make it all nice. Uh, most people, when they do this, they have not the waveforms on top, but they have those waveforms. Um, and then it's layered here on the, in this spot. So if record box is on top, it's going to be on top. So then you need to click on iOS camera and just move it up, and then it'll layer on top. Also, if you want to click and drag and crop, you can do that. You can make yourself bigger and whatnot. Um, so I have one camera over there. Sometimes you'll see some streamers, they'll have the camera right here facing down. Unfortunately, I, do, I do have a nice camera, but it's not connecting to my old computer. And then it's also, um, I don't have the stand to do it. So sometimes you need a couple more uh, maintenance or um, hardware kind of things. Then, if you want to add like a FaceTime camera, so my, I have a camera right here on my computer, just add, um, the. it's going to be video capture device. You click on that, press OK and then use whatever camera that's there. So sometimes, like the iPad will show up, um, but you can also use FaceTime, and then you'll see a video of me pop up. There I am. You hit OK, and then the same thing. You can layer it. Sometimes people like to have it in the corner. So this is how you can like have your DJ deck going. You can have a camera on your face. You can have everything all over the place, um, and then just layer it however you want. So then you can show the decks there. Um, the big thing is that you want to hit transition at the end of that, so all of it shows up on the right-hand side, as you can see. And then you're going to hit start recording. One other thing that you will have to do, and I'm not going to do it in this video, is create an audio input capture device. So if I was to play this stuff, um, you would be able to hear it through the computer speaker. And you see it going. It's a little laggy because my computer, like I said, is old. Um, but you need to create an audio input capture device um, there is a video, if I can find it real quick, I'll link it. But what I end up using is this program called I Show You Audio Capture, and what it does, it combines everything together. The only issue with all of this is if you're going to use the OBS camera or the, 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 lap, the iPad camera, you need to mute the mic. Because right now that is on. If I was recording, you would hear all these delays. So make sure you have a good computer for this. If you don't, um, your computer is going to do exactly what it is doing right now with mine, and it's overheating. <laughs> make sure you have um, a decent computer. Just to let you know, I am using a 2012. So it's, it's, it's an old Mac. Um, it runs well, 12 gigabytes of RAM, but you definitely need something with good battery power. I uh, hope this video informs you. Thank you.